I believe it's quite dangerous because what it does to a person, it just it could confuse people very very quickly. Mm. It could confuse right now very very quickly, which obviously doesn't move us forward in life. And what we want in life, Pete, is to have a direction, pay, and we know where we're gonna go, pay. Mm. Okay, and this is again all about being unique. So to answer your question, Pete, I really urge people that right now are in a moment in their life of, of soaking all and I see this is you if I look in your eyes Pete I see just I see immense knowledge I see <laughs> like this this you know everything everything coming left right out of your ears and mouth and nose you have you have immense amount of knowledge and you have been able Pete to to find your niche to mm. be you that's why you are successful but you have tailored something down which is of value to people, okay? So meaning that, that so many people I have seen and see on a daily basis, I, I would suggest just stop for the moment, just stop and think, okay? And stop and think for the reason of actually, stop and think to actually just randomly pick up stuff from the shelf and attend seminars and start finding the intention and the attention behind the things you really do. Does this mm -hmm. make sense? Mm -hmm. Okay. And that is very important. So we have to find the uniqueness, the uniqueness. We have to find you first, I believe, before we actually start, you know, randomly model stuff. Because you know, imagine yourself right now walking on a on a path. A path of life okay and the path had a certain width to the game okay and all these random things come up in life all right and we move to the left and we move to the right we move in all sorts of directions but standing on the path and walking the path the meaning is unless we know where the path is leading towards to the sunrise the vision we actually have a hard time to stay on path. Does it make sense? Mm -hmm. And a lot of people, what is missing in that equation is they don't see the sunrise yet. They don't know yet where the sunrise is going to be. They don't know yet what, is this, what the sunrise is going to look like. Hence, they have a hard time to stay on path. Hence, they are pick up these random seminars. They pick up these random books. They, are, they listen to random things, model random people waste time to actually sift who they really are rather than sitting down and just nutting it out. And you cannot nut it out by looking at somebody else. You can only nut it out by being with you, by feeling inside you and just asking yourself some really hard questions. Mm. And I tell you right now, in my journey, I have locked myself in, in my living room right now. Sorry, in my living room that I'm sitting in, in it right now for weeks with a blank piece of paper and just start writing random stuff down, right? Mm -hmm. uh, just did you ha ask myself the hard questions, really understanding what I want to accomplish in my life. Okay, uh, does that have anything to do with all that stuff behind you? The the no, post-it sure. notes. For sure. Tell yeah. us about tell uh, us about those, man. What, what's yeah. that all about? Yeah, they are right now. <laughs> you know, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of of post-its all over my wall, we yep. see right now a small section, but um, if I wouldn't have done what I just ex explained, I would have never been there. And what this is all about, Pete, it is, um, I'm structuring right now uh, one of my more advanced back-end seminars. Okay. So I'm running right now nationally in Australia, my preview events, um, so I'm actually running in about two weeks, uh, which is very exciting, mm -hmm. in Australia. But um, I'm running right now, I'm structuring right now my back-end events. And one of, my back in, one of my back end events is called Synchro Destiny. Say that Syn again. Could you say that again? Synchro Destiny. Synchro Destiny. Yeah. Okay. T explain. <laughs> what Synchro Destiny is all about is exactly what we just described. It is about finding the clarity, the vision, and the direction in your life to really understand where do you see yourself? 
So it's really answering the question, who am I? Mm -hmm. Who am I? What do I want? And how or who do I want to serve? Mm -hmm. Okay, so really cool little tight seminar, three-day seminar which I'm structuring right now. And that is one way of actually um, of structuring seminars and of how to put content into seminars by starting up brainstorming, by structuring, and um, it's a bit of a process involved in that actually. Mm -hmm. Okay, and, and how long has that been going on, all the, the post-it notes there? How long have you been sort of working on that way oh, of, of working? Weeks. For weeks, so yep. you know, if you put in a, if you put together a three-day event, um, it takes weeks. It yeah. takes weeks. That's why these events, they are, that's why they cost money. Not yeah. just because there's obviously, you know, money involved, like hiring venues and hiring technicians and all these things and equipment. But as well, it takes me out of my daily business for weeks, yeah. actually, to put something together that is just of so massive value to people that, that love to stay close to me, my followers, mm -hmm. that it just creates results like this, mm -hmm. okay? It obviously takes dedication on my end, takes time, effort, sweat, and love, whatever, you know, yeah, uh, yeah. whatever it takes yeah, to get yeah. there. Okay, man, to create such you know, high value back-end seminars, obviously, yeah, it costs a lot of money to put it on, but yeah, that's not the only reason, you know, we're all in business and we all wanna um, make a profit, make money. Um, there's also another something I learned yeah, from, from Jeff actually Jeff I kind of it's one of those things you kind of know it but when he he puts it in a, such a way uh, this is Jeff Slater it made me really understand you know if, if you charge more they get better results if you charge your clients more money they get better results because they've placed a high dollar value on your information and so if you spend a hundred dollars on something yeah you might use it if you spend two and a half thousand or five thousand or twenty thousand dollars on something you're gonna make sure you get those results because you've invested the money. So, with your seminar, how many seminars do you actually do? So your back end, I won't ask for the price now, what you, what you charge, but yeah, you know, save that for the seminar itself when you actually get to demonstrate the value upfront before you say the price. But uh, how, what's your product path? So if, you, if, I wanna get, if I wanna get to your event in Melbourne, the one in two weeks, is that the one with Ellie? Hel Ellie and Helen? Yep, um, or Helen and Ellie. Uh, is that that's a what's that a free seminar a, a paid seminar what's how's that one work yeah it's a paid seminar paid exactly seminar actually it's a paid seminar exactly for the reason you just mentioned yeah yeah i have a buy-in not so much i don't make any money with it at all with that with that ticket sale it's more for them to buy in and to have something telling their own brain i committed to it that's yeah all it yeah oh, i totally understand totally get it and, and agree with that so how many how many stepping stones are there because if you just took someone straight into your back-end event i would imagine that there's so much information that you need to kind of go through a process for the last seminar to kind of make sense so if you if, you know what i mean like uh, if i was to teach you say oh, my thing is internet marketing you know i teach internet marketing to to my clients if i was to teach them all the stuff i know it wouldn't make sense they need to they need some stepping stones to kind of Ah, now I've got that. Now I can move on to the next phase, to the next phase, to the next phase to, to prevent overwhelm. So I would imagine yours are much the same. What are your, what's your product path like? Yeah, thank you, Pete. Um, let me answer the question in this way that um, I have a certain product path, which I'm going to explain in a second. But the way I started up personally was with coaching. So I've been um, coaching in leadership started up with network marketing companies you know teaching literally hundreds and hundreds of entrepreneurs worldwide mm -hmm. um you know i've been fortunate to, to stand on big stages at the sydney exhibition center in front of a few thousand people because of my dedication towards other people it was pretty interesting actually um so the coaching aspect is probably the most the easiest way to start up mm -hmm. i'd say because it 